all right let's try this again i'm doing a little video for people that don't know what they're doing with arduino they want to apply them their multi wii and they have never done anything in arduino hopefully they've gotten to the point you have gotten to the point of unzipping your files that you got that you downloaded from the arduino uh website or either that or from the multi wii website and once you do that you'll you, if you unzip it correctly you'll have all this stuff across the top you don't want to pay any attention to any of that you want to go up here this little pull down menu hit it go to config h that's where you find your configurable parameters so you want to go there um if you've never done this before you need to do it uh i'm updating i have updated mine to the latest you know that, that i've got it flying with and it flies pretty good under this so just for your information basic setup if you're flying a quad x you have to define quad x and in order to define something see these all these ones with two lines in front of it well if you want to it's called commenting it you want to if you want if you want that option to be valid yeah backspace backspace see how it gets uh, highlighted then you can only choose one of these so I'd have to go here and get rid of define quad X by putting two lines in front of that but I don't want to do that I'm just gonna put two lines back in front of the first one and that makes that invalid so that's my model the quad X so I, I got rid of the two lines in front of that <laughs> that's all you got to do right now move on motor min throttle on my particular craft it works best i found when the min throttle is 1000 and my max throttle is 1850 min command 950 that's how what you use to arm with um define i2c speed for this i just left that stock whatever it came with that's what it was this one this is my particular board right here this is where you define your board um if you have a multi wii pro with the mtk uh 20 whatever it is um a gps module that's your board right there define you what you want to do is un uncomment that and make that highlighted okay and it's a whole bunch of different boards here so you don't want to get any if there's another one highlighted here or up here right here you want to un you want to get those double lines in front of it so it's not is no longer highlighted because you can only choose one. You want to check that list to make sure there's no no other ones highlighted. Okay, independent sensors. Okay, on my board it comes with all the sensors, so I just skip right on through this section and make sure nothing is highlighted. Copter type specific options. Okay, you have to define your PID controller. <laughs> you have to define your yaw direction. I don't know why. And you're best off if you only arm it when it's flat. Okay, and you want to make sure all those are highlighted. Define allow arm disarm via TX yaw. You don't have to use that. You can use a switch on your transmitter to arm and disarm. But if you do that, you want to comment this one out. But with mine, I like going down and to the right with my yaw control, and that arms my copter, and then I'm ready to go. Servos. I don't have any servos. Camp delay stabilization. Someday I plan on putting that on, so I, I defined it. Both of them. Cam trigger, maybe I'll use. I don't know. I, I like seeing the, the stuff in the GUI anyway. It looks cool. Um, when, yeah, when you do something up here, some of these things end up in your GUI. That you can you can actually see that they're functional or non-functional, whichever the case may be. All this stuff that I'm skipping right through, it has to do with the helicopter, which we're not flying. We're flying a quadcopter. Common for heli and airplane. When you get this thing, a lot of these things will be commented. I mean, they'll be uncommented. They'll, they'll be activated. Like when I got mine, these fl defined flapperons and all that crap. That was all ready to go and ready to be used. Didn't need it. So I put two lines in front of it and got rid of it. It's not an airplane. It's a quadcopter. So anyway, I got rid of that. Got rid of common for heli and airplane. Got rid of everything that said heli on it because it's not a heli. No, a lot of that stuff came commented out ready to use. Individual mixing, I don't have anything like that. Individual defaults, don't have anything like that. RC system setup. You know what? If unless you got a special a transmitter and receiver, you don't want to mess with anything in here either. If you got what I got, a, a Turner G9X, just leave this alone. Make sure nothing's commented there. 
alternate CPUs boards. Well, that doesn't make sense. You're using a specific board. So it's got things for different special boards. So you don't want to mess with that if you got my board. All this stuff I'm just skipping by is because there's nothing done with any of it. Override default pin assignments. Alternate setup. Comp speed. Okay, you want to have this defined. And for if you're running GPS, take my word for it. You want serial2.com speed at 57.6 because 115.2 did never work for me and it probably won't work for you either. Uh, whatever. This came, the, the software came with that commented and that commented, so I left it that way. Gyro filters, we don't worry about that. Now, the, when you get to low pass filter setting, you definitely, you probably will need to either use 98 or 42 kilohertz. I found 98 works best for me. I left it at that. Gyro smoothing, nothing. Moving arrows, gyros, nothing. Analog rays, nothing. Okay, optional features. This is, this is a cool section. Define throttle angle correction. Okay, if you crank your, your stick to the right or left and your, your craft starts to drop out of the sky, crank this up a little bit. I had to have mine at 45. It comes at 40. Define advanced head free. Okay, this is your... This is head free stuff. It, it came like that. I like head free. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. It works fine. Continuous gyro calibration. Don't use it. AP flight mode. Don't use it. Acro trainer. Don't use it. Fail safe settings. You, if you fly your copter without your fail safe turned on, you're an idiot. So this comes undefined. So go ahead and comment it or define it or whatever they call that. Make sure it's, it's ready to go. Uh, the settings on there, I just left them stock. I think I, 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 think I had uh, fail safe. Min throttle pumped up a little from their standard. Maybe on my last, I probably had to do that. I think I want to put it to 400. But anyway, it's not that important right now. As long as it lands safely. Nothing. I don't have any of this crap. Landing lights. I put that on just so it would show up in the GUI, and it does. In flight AC cal. None of that stuff. Okay, I have a dead band that introduces a. If you have errors on your transmitter around the middle of the stick, you don't want that. So just take my word for it. Define it at 4 or 6, maybe up to 8, but then you're going to have a funny spot in the middle of your stick probably. Um, GPS, this is where a lot of people fall down and go boom. You want to define GPS serial 2 if you have our board. Define the baud rate at 57.6 like you did up there. Okay, here's the tricky part. When you first start this thing up, and you sometimes I still have to do it in order to get it to work. Um, this is your final setting, define N N M E A. But you first you have to go to define init MTK GPS. That initializes it. You get rid of them two lines, make that bold, and then just just for the hell of it, just go ahead and upload. This is your Verify button, make sure everything you did was right. This is your upload button. You hit that, just send it to your, your craft right now. Don't worry about any more settings. Alright, then after you do that, go ahead and put your lines back in front of it. Go up there and uncomment. Define NMEA. Bam, bam. And go ahead and do the same thing again. Upload it again. So, that's, that's all you gotta do. That'll get your GPS working. Unless you... All this stuff isn't done right. Define GPS line indicator. You, you don't have to have that, but that's good to have. Use blah, blah, blah. blah. Just whatever that comes set, leave it set. Okay, now here's the one that'll get you. Mag declination. You have to go to a page on the web, get your magnetic declination, and declare it. Which is minus negative 7.1F. I have a GPS filter. A GPS radius is 200. Max nav altitude I put down to 35 and I think that's a little too high. Okay, well back to the we were just talking about mag declination and my card ran out. So we'll get back on with this. You you're gonna want to define a GPS lead filter. Believe me, you're gonna want to do that. You don't want to do this because it cuts down on accuracy. Leave that one undefined. Okay, this is a G, a GPS waypoint radius if you're within 200 uh, I think it's millimeters centimeters 200 centimeters that's what I have it set at uh, safe waypoint distance uh, this is meters so the 
you, they, you don't want your craft to fly 600 meters away because it might not make it back. <laughs> so you're going to want to just, from waypoint to waypoint, you're going to figure out how far you can fly. And they got a safe waypoint at 200. So I just left mine there. Probably with my 2200 MAH batteries, I'll have to shorten that to 100 feet if I do a 15 stop mission or something. But anyway, maximum while navigation at L2 is 35 meters. That's uh, 90 by almost 100 feet. Well, a little over 100 feet. Um, nav speed is in centimeters per second. It's at 100, that's the minimum. And the max is 400 centimeters a second. This is all for navigation when you're under GPS mode. This is what controls it. All this stuff's pretty important too if you want it to fly right. Uh, divine slow nav. I don't know why they got it at zero. I'm not sure what that means. But I just left it there. So far so good. Define cross track gain. I don't know what that means. I left that how it came. Nav bank max 3000. I left that how it was. It works fine. Return to home altitude. You can change the altitude. It came way higher than 15 meters. Uh, I think it was 75 or something like that. But I don't want mine coming back that high. So as long as I'm not around a bunch of trees or anything, I'll be alright. Um, define weight for return to home altitude. Okay, that'll... that'll Zero is no, one is yes. So what will happen is if you're, if you hit RTH and it comes goes to come back to you, it'll climb up to that 15 meters first, and then it'll head home. If you have that uncommented, it'll just fly straight for you, right through a wall if there's one in the way. Navigation engine will take over barrel mode control. I found out that when you flip it into any kind of nav mode, return to home or uh, GPS hold, the barrel works automatically you don't have to have it flipped on in the modes uh, ignore throttle that means that you you can mess with the throttle all you want and it won't do anything as long as it's in barrel mode fence distance is something to do with how with it'll switch to return to home if it's farther from home than the that defined number in meters that's got 600 which is quite a ways uh, land speed, descent, land, descent speed during landing. This is a hundred centimeters per fit. It's hundred equals fifty centimeters per second. So mine set at a hundred. It's left it the way it was. LCD OLED. I don't use one of them, so none of this stuff is defined. It's a screen that you can put on your multi wheel so you can program it right on the spot. I don't know, I'll live without it. This is a configuration menu. If any of that stuff's commented and you don't have it, just Uncommon it, get rid of it. Uh, telemetry, I don't have any of that, so all that's not done. RSSI, buzzer, battery voltage monitoring. I that came like that, I left it like that. I, it, I am assuming it helps the ESC shut down when the battery gets too low. Mine's set pretty high, actually, so uh, I don't know. We'll see. We might mess with that some more. Power meter. It comes set like that. I left it like that. Altitude hold. Okay, uh, with mine, my, my uh, transmitter, the, the throttles aren't really centered at 1500. <laughs> They're centered at 1470 if you average them all out. So that's what I ended up putting there. And it seems to work pretty good. So uh, I don't know what the neutral zone thing is. Oh, that's a plus or minus 50 for you can get a good hover, I think. But anyway, you want both of those, probably. L2 variometer, we don't use that. Board naming, that was already taken care of. Define no flash check. Do not reset constants. Just leave that the way it is. You want that tuning developer. There's not much in here except for uh, if you go to do your uh, well, if you definitely want to define your motor stop. They won't spin when the throttle command is in low position. That'll stop your motors immediately. If you don't have that though it'll it'll go down and it'll spin. So I wouldn't mind to stop whenever I need it because I was learning how to fly and I needed them to stop if I was going to hit something. 
And then some radios have not a neutral point. That's what I was talking about. Center enough 1500. This can be changed here. This is where you do it. If you got a mid range problem, you go to 14. I, I had to change mine to 1470. Servo refresh rates. I, that, that comes um, common. And I'm not sure. I don't know if I need it or not. So I just left it at common. There's a lot of this stuff I'm not sure about. Uh, HWPAWM servos. I don't know what that means. So, like I said, as soon as I learn a little more, I might go ahead and get rid of them too. Memory savings. All this stuff that's in Arduino is a lot of it you don't need. And the, <laughs> if you don't have the good stuff commented, you're going to mess up. So, uh, there's this will automatically calibrate your ESCs all at once, but you got to be careful with it. You want to take your props off. And to do that, you want to uncomment this right here and then upload. The minute that thing's done uploading, then both motors will spin right up. All this frequency stuff came highlighted already. I left it the way it was. All this stuff down here is totally never use it for anything. But actually, my, my disable power pin thing came up when I got this version of the software it came up commented so I re I uncommented we don't need that I don't have a pro mini or anything so anyway that's an overview of all my settings uh, the important ones are up in the nav section if you're going to use GPS and uh, the other important ones are of course the board style and the I mean the board type and the copter style and uh you know, just stuff that'll make it fly. You gotta be careful with some of this stuff. But if you want your moly wee to fly and get it up in the air, use uh use the settings I got, they work.